Hi everyone, welcome to my quick and easy tutorial on how to build a nice looking gallery on Adobe Behance. As you can see here, I've fired up my Behance profile. Just a reminder for your final, please make sure that you upload a banner image to make it your own, as well as upload a picture of yourself or icon that you feel represents you, could be one of your drawings, your preferred name, um, and just complete your profile so it's there and helps you build visibility online. I'm going to navigate over here to the top right hand corner where it says share your work. From there I want you to click project. It's going to load up this page here and there's a few ways that you can simply build your content. You can either upload image by image if you are working animation and you want to upload a video, you can go below that and upload video or audio. And today I'm going to show you how to build a photo grid. So I'm going to click this right here where it says photo grid. And then it tells you add photos to create your grid. Really cool. You can upload images directly from Adobe Lightroom or you can upload directly from your hard drive. So I'm going to click image. And from here, it's going to open up a dialog box. I've already made a folder here. Uh, with a grain of salt edited and web edited. So these are all the photos that I'm going to be including. Um, last week in class, I talked about organizing your files. And as you know, I've been asking you to name your files. And this is why when you put your work online or when you're foldering or preparing files for a client, it just keeps them neat and tidy and easy to find. So I'm going to select them all here, either by dragging and clicking or command A and then click open. And you can see very easily, it's just uploading my content right here. So very quickly, you can upload all of your content. Um, these are some artworks that I made in the darkroom. I actually collected salt uh, during the winter time and grew salt crystals and then brought them into the darkroom and made these artworks here. Um, so what I would suggest next is that you add some text. So for example, what is your project name? For you, this will be your final portfolio. So whatever you want to call your body of work, this body of work is called with a grain of salt. I know that sounds weird as I was doing that out. And of course, it's always ideal to put your preferred name. Um, when I exhibit my work, I go by my full name usually, which is Katrina Jennifer Bedford. Um, and so you can save that there. Here we go. And then I'm going to click continue on the bottom right. Your project cover, you can edit your project cover, whatever image you want to use. For example, you prefer that one, or maybe you prefer this one. Um, you can crop it there. And then how would you like to categorize this? So obviously I've said this is called with a grain of salt. Project tags, this could be, for example, your brand name. So for me, all of mine are KJ underscore Bedford. Um, what software hardware did you use? This is photography. Um, I used Photoshop. See, and you can see it selects it here for you. Um, project tag, another thing, it could be the material. So digital drawing in your case. In this case, this is a, um, a piece that was made in the darkroom. And then your visibility. So everyone, so everyone can see your work. Copyright and licenses, all right reserved. You can change that. I'm going to leave this as such. And this project does not contain any adult content. So I'm going to select publish. And there you go. In under four minutes, you have now made a piece that you can promote. You can share that on LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, etc. Um, and you can reorder these and go in here and change this at any time. But essentially, this is the point of making a project like this a portfolio is that you start to build your online presence so that you can market the type of work that you are interested in making. Of course, you can always change and move things around. If you like to, you can make the grid, grid bigger, smaller. Um, don't be afraid to play around in here. It's really quite easy. And if you have any big questions, you can certainly send me an email. That's it. Under five minutes. Look forward to seeing your final portfolios in class tomorrow. Have a great day.